Ah. Oh. Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrick keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh, dear. They never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. These guys have one hell of a brain. One hell of a brain. Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we, Bess? You got one of them telly what's it in here, ain't ya? And you've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn here, shaped. What you going on about air repairs for? Oh, I don't know. Feel rough. Oh, that's disgusting. Scamps get everywhere. Listen up, Bell, or I'll thump you till your ears are ringing. <coughs> Ooh, a con. Your wordplay delights me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <coughs> I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped another one, Bill. You little sod. Oh, I me, Bez. Oh, oh, go blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. My boots, you're as purple as a plum. A plum? I feel all wobbly, Baz. Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. 
Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve. I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. as well, shall I? I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, no. oh golly gosh, I felt that. Dentist pulls a rotten tooth. There. Well, look, up, now I Move am. faster what? if you can. Serves you right. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Jacob Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Blighted! Make them 